What's up guys? I wanted to take a few minutes in this video to show you something about the these little VFDs, these S, SM VLT inverters, whatever. You can see it right there. I'm sure that some of you guys out there have uh, fooled with these. Uh, this is on a baller. This is a Kamikus baller. And this is one that they just had to replace recently. There's a couple of parameters in here that we need to look at. And I've already got them corrected on this one and it is currently running but a couple of the parameters that you need to pay close attention to is the parameters the P100 I'm just going to show you the book here uh, let me see P100 this P100 parameter which the way that you're going to get to that and you can see here I just want to show you we are now ramping on this what the P100 is is the type of control that you have on this Okay, when you replace this, you want to make sure, depending on your system, you have, you're using parameter start sources, number one, which is the terminal strip, unless you're trying to run it on hand. Okay, unless you're running it off the keypad, but that's where you're going to set your parameters is by this section here. Okay, you set it to number one, it's going to be running off of the terminal strips. The other thing that you're going to want to pay attention to is parameter P101. This is your speed reference. Okay, if you do not set this, then the drive is not going to ramp. As you can see, what we currently have, our drive is ramping based upon the control of the device. Okay, there are a few different options here. We have 0 to 10 and 4 to 20. Ours is currently, this system here is currently a 4 to 20 milliamp. And there again, go through your wiring, go through your data your control, for your controller, and that should tell you what your particular device is. Uh, when I initially set this one up, I set it up for 0 to 10. It did not ramp up, so I simply changed it to 4 to 20. It come right on up. The way that you will do that, of course, you're going to want to make sure that you press the stop button. Uh, right now, the system is running, so I'm not going to do that. And once you press the stop button, you simply will press the M button. You can see it here. The, it looks like a, uh, the M with a uh, arrow you will press that and that will pull up the parameters list okay just to show you guys I press the M button it's going to pull up my parameters list if I press it again it's going to take me into that particular parameter where I can edit it okay and then once I do that I simply press that again to get back out of it and it's going to go back to the main menu okay but guys, this is just a short video that I wanted to do on these drives. Again, if you don't have them set up properly, they're not going to run properly.